Hey everybody, it's Scott here. Welcome to Guitar Theory. In this video series, we're going to be discussing some music theory concepts, how to get them on the guitar, uh, some other cool music stuff, and just in general some guitar stuff. So thanks for being here and let's dive right in. Today we're doing a quick video on what I call chord torture. It's an exercise that's great for developing chord dexterity and also uh, maintaining uh, your chord chops without having to spend a lot of time on it. I'm not saying you shouldn't be playing chords, but this is a really good exercise to just keep your chord chops in shape. So, here it is. The way it works is we're going to start off simply by putting all four fingers on the second string. I'm going to start at the fifth fret. You can do this anywhere on the guitar, but we're just going to start right here and use this as an example. I think you'll get the idea pretty quick. I got all four fingers on the second string at the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth frets. And that is our starting position. And then I'm going to move my first finger to the third string, fifth fret, second finger to the first string, sixth fret. Then I'm going to switch those two notes around. So my second finger goes to the third string, first finger goes to the first string. And then it's just back and forth. I'm going to stretch it out one more set of strings and go from the fourth string to the third string. And so on. So we're going to do that same idea using different finger combinations. For the next one, I'm just going to keep my first and second fingers on the second string. I'm at the fifth fret and sixth fret. My third finger is going to go to the third string, seventh fret. Pinky on the first string, eighth fret. Then switch them around. And that's why I call this chord torture. For the next pair of fingers, I'm going to have my second and fourth fingers on the second string. I'm at the sixth fret and the eighth fret. First and third fingers are going from the third string, fifth fret, to the first string, seventh fret. Then switch those around. Next one, I'm going to keep my first and third fingers on the second string. Second and fourth fingers are going to be on the third and first strings. Switch those around. Next one, I'm going to have my first finger and pinky on the second string. I'm at the fifth fret with my first finger, eighth fret with a pinky. Second and third fingers are on the second string, sixth fret, first string, seventh fret. Switch those around. Got one more. I'm going to have my second finger and third finger on the second string. I'm at the sixth fret and seventh fret. First finger is on the third string, fifth fret. Pinky is the first string, eighth fret. I'm going to switch those around. A couple extra ideas there. You can get extra benefit out of this if you exaggerate the left hand. Basically just working a little harder than I need to, so if I relax, well, that feels a lot easier. Different sets of strings. That's the fourth string and the first string. Fifth string and first string. Sixth string and first string. Then of course you can have these fingers on different strings too. If I go all the way to have my fingers down on the fifth string, I'm at the fifth string, sixth fret, sixth string, seventh fret. Then I'm going to alternate from the sixth string and the fourth string with my first finger and my pinky. Stretch it out another set of strings going the other way. So I'll be on the sixth string and third string. Then I'm going to go through the sixth and second strings. Sixth string and first string. And so on. And you can do this anywhere on the guitar, and there's a lot of different variations that I've come up with, but that's the idea. So I hope that's useful, and uh, I do these pretty much every day, and I would say that my chord chops feel pretty good all the time. So I wish you good luck, have fun, and thank you very much. So that's it. Enjoy your chord torture.